Have we ever seen spirit like we have right now? Have we ever seen it? I don't think so. I don't think so. You know why? Because we gave them a chance and they're destroying our country. They're destroying our country. Hello, New Hampshire. I'm thrilled to be back in your beautiful state with thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots. And let me begin by wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. Remember? We couldn't say that. Seven years ago, they didn't want us to say it, but we now say it proudly, and people are saying it right back at us. We're just 38 days away from New Hampshire's first in the nation primary, and you know what? You're first in the nation, because I kept you first in the nation. And I have to say, unlike Biden, he didn't keep you first in the nation. That we know. On Tuesday, January 23rd, we're going to win the New Hampshire primary, and then we're going to crush crooked Joe Biden next November, and we're going to make America great again. During this holiday season, families all across America are struggling under the brutal weight of crooked Joe's failures, disasters, and heartless betrayals, you know that? While the stock market is making rich people richer, Biden's inflation catastrophe is demolishing your savings and ravaging your dreams. His sky-high energy prices, nobody's ever seen anything like it, are brutalizing your wallets. Our border has been erased. We have no border any longer. Drugs, criminals, gang members, and terrorists are pouring into our country. They're running wild in our Democrat-run cities, while Christians and conservatives are persecuted. And thanks to Crooked Joe's breathtaking weakness, he is bad. Worst president in history. The world is going up in flames while you suffer the ravages of inflation and your buying power goes down to levels never seen before. Your buying power has never been seen anything like this before. Joe Biden is a low IQ individual. He is truly the worst, most incompetent, and most corrupt president in the history of our country. But with your vote in this election, together we're going to save America and we're going to bring our country back from hell. It's in hell. It's in hell. Not one thing has gotten better under Crooked Joe Biden, under the Trump administration, you were better off, oh, you were better off, your family was better off, your neighbors were better off, your communities were better off, and your country as a whole was better off. America was stronger, richer, safer, and more confident than ever when you had a certain gentleman behind the desk, at beautiful, resolute desk in the Oval Office. What was his name? His name was Trump, happened to be Trump. But it was all of you, actually. In a certain sense, you were all sitting behind that desk because that's what we're all doing together. We're in this together. We have a, a fight to save our country. We have a fight to save our country. Were you better off five years ago or are you better off today? No contest. There's no contest. Nobody would say, nobody would say today. What a difference a president can make. It really does make a difference, a big difference, bigger than even I thought. If you go back seven, eight years, I never thought it could make. It makes a tremendous difference. Since Joe Biden took over, we've had a three-year inflation rate of over 20 percent. Under my leadership, inflation was non-existent. We had gasoline at $1.87 a gallon. After three years of Bidenomics, they call it Bidenomics from hell, the average monthly mortgage payment has gone from $1,746 under my administration to $3,322 today. But you can't get the money, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Biden's handlers are making the banks much richer and making you much poorer. The handlers, they are making the banks rich 
And the banks discriminate against conservatives. They discriminate against religion because they're afraid of the radical left, I suspect. I think the bank regulators are doing a big number in the banks because they're not allowed to do business with you. And we're going to get those banks when we get in office. We're going to get them. Nobody knows the banking industry better than me. And I'm not going to let them take advantage of you any longer. They've taken advantage and what they do to. Donald Trump, former U.S. president and the Republican front runner for the 2024 presidential elections, said on Saturday that many people will leave the country if he is re-elected. As soon as we win, you know what's going to happen. People are going to flood out of the country. They are going to flood out before we even do anything. Trump said. Trump said while promising to crack down on illegal immigration and restrict legal immigration if elected to a second four-year term in office. If re-elected, Trump promised to stop the invasion of our southern border and begin the largest domestic deportation operation in American history. Donald Trump's travel ban was first introduced executive order by the former president in January 2017. It targeted seven mostly majority countries. It barred the country into the U.S. of people from Iran, Libya, Somalia, Syria, Yemen, Iraq, and Sudan. The ban expanded in January 2020 to include Burma, Eritrea, Nigeria, Tanzania, and Sudan. But Joe Biden signed an executive order rescinding the travel ban in 2021, the Hindustan Times reported. Trump said that undocumented immigrants were poisoning the blood of the country. During a campaign event in New Hampshire on Saturday, Trump was quoted by Reuters as saying they are poisoning the blood of our country. They have poisoned mental institutions and prisons all over the world, Trump said at a rally in the city of Durham. He reportedly said immigrants were coming to the U.S. from Asia and Africa in addition to South America. All over the world, they are pouring into our country. Trump is the leading candidate for the Republican Party's 2024 presidential nomination and has made border security a major theme of his campaign. He vowed to restore the hardline policies from his 2017 and 2021 presidency and implement new ones that clamp down further on immigration.